everyone, this is Taya Belittles, and today's segment is going to be about this Flander script. A lot of people have been learning how to shadow from my other shadow video, which I'll actually include in the bottom in this description box of this video. So what, this actual font is so awesome because it comes with the actual font as well as the shadowing. So this tutorial video is going to show you how to use those two items. So what I'll do is this is my niece name. I want to make her shirt, so I'm going to use her name, and I'm going to duplicate these fonts. And I'll show you why. So the name of the font is called Flanders. So this is the font here. And you see it says Flanders Shadow. And there's the shadow. Now there are a couple features we're going to use in our DS to put this together. You have the letter space inferior. We have the un ungroup feature. We just use the duplicate feature. As well as the weld feature. So the first thing I want to do with this is decrease my letter spacing, like so. Okay, and then if I get it close enough, I'm going to ungroup it. Excuse the kids in the background. We're actually outside working in the shed today. Okay, let's see. Okay, so now I have everything together, and I'm going to weld it. I'm going to change the color of this right here for demonstration purposes. Let's change it to a lighter color. Let's do it for red for now. Okay, so I change it to red. Now we have our shadow. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Get it as close as I can, but we're going to ungroup it. And the reason why we're going to ungroup it, make sure that everything is pulled to the back as well, is because I want to arrange these individually so that I get the coverage that I want. You see how that goes? Isn't that awesome? Let me see if I can pull this down a little bit more and move these to the side. Okay, so I got my shadow like so, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And so as you see, even though we made the shadows and the fonts the same, the exact same, that does not necessarily mean because you may want to offset it like this or you may want the whole letter in it and that's really up to your discretion so the same thing with the a i lined it up how i wanted it same thing with the y so we have that and then we're going to move the l oh this is fitting perfectly i'm glad this is doing well for this tutorial <laughs> just my luck and so you notice that i had just to resize just a little bit and look how awesome is that so everything fits in like I want it to, with the exception of this Y. This Y is doing something a little funky. Okay, and make sure everything, let me just slide the L. Take the L out. Uh oh, that's the I. Undo. Take that L out. Okay. And then make sure that little bend is where I want it. There we go. Okay, so now I have it how I want it. Now we're going to select all of this, and we're going to weld it together. Send this to the back. And boom, now you have your shadow, how you will like it. Isn't that cool? So this is the Flanders script. I'm going to include how you can get this script as well in the description box, it's all, as well as the tutorial link to show you how we originally shadowed all of our letters. So if it's a particular font that you like, then this comes with the font as well as the shadow. And the name of it again, let me see if I can go back to it. I'm going to go here. When you click this and you click the C information, it lets you know that it's Flanders script. So I hope that this information is, and I hope that you can take it and make great creations with it. And you all have a great day.